What do you do when you hear something that is contrary to what you believe the Bible says? What's your first reaction? Um, is it, no, that's not true, you're a heretic and a liar, and I can't stand you, I'll never watch you again? Is that your attitude? Or maybe it's, let's see why he says that, and, and what are the verses that this person is using to back things up? You know, someone can say to me, you, that you need to be baptized to be saved. And I would agree with them. But there is only a portion of time when that was required. And that is in the four gospels and in the early part of the book of Acts. And you may even say in the later part of the book of Acts. But uh, after that, salvation was not requiring water baptism. It's just not in Paul's epistles. Don't you think that Paul would have said water baptism is necessary to be saved and get your sins forgiven and to go to heaven just one time just one time just once one time yeah one it's a number one not once matter of fact he's he said it to the contrary that his gospel was separated from water baptism but wait he was a minister to the Gentiles and Peter and the Twelve were ministers to the uh, nation of Israel. And so they went to two separate groups, but Peter's group was required to be water baptized, whereas Paul says that I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believed, to the first Jew, uh, the first to the Jew, and, and also to the Greek. And that gospel was the gospel stating that Jesus had died, shed his blood, was buried, rose again, and that by believing in that and in that alone, we have salvation. There was no water baptism. There was no law. There was no covenant required for the body of Christ. So what I'd like to suggest is when you do get something that sounds different to you, that you would investigate it and find out both sides of the story. Many times people will just take the gospel accounts and account them for their gospel truth and that's it. And not understand that Jesus saved the Apostle Paul, gave him a new message to a new people that did not require salvation through the method that he did since the law of Moses up until the book of Matthew. And it's just uh, sad that people will take only portion parts of the scriptures and apply them to themselves and not look at all of the scripture. God's word is a progressive revelation of how he dealt with man. God and Jesus, the spirit are the same yesterday, today and forever. But that is in their character and their makeup in the fact that they are God and who they are. But that's not in regards to how they dealt with man. Moses had to keep the law, but Abraham didn't because the law was 430 years after Abraham, so that would have been impossible. Adam didn't need to build an ark because God wasn't going to flood his, his land with water and, and destroy. You know, you see my point. Understand that God's progressive revelation. Don't read the back of the book back into the beginning of the book and think that those people in the beginning of the book knew what was happening. So when you come across some information that is contrary to what you believe, search the scriptures, have an understanding. Someone has said, you can't argue with me until you prove to me that you understand my perspective of what I'm saying and that I'm giving you. When you understand that and then you refute it, then it's justified. But it's not justified ever. When you don't know all of the facts on both sides, then you try to refute it. When I came to rightly dividing the word, I knew enough of the Bible to understand that when someone said to me through a video that Jesus wasn't talking to you in the four gospels, it made sense to me. It clicked because of those things that Jesus taught in the gospels, if I tried to apply them to me, and then I try to read the Apostle Paul and what he was saying that 
those things that apply to me. They were many times opposites and they couldn't coincide and that would be difficult. Well, I guess what I'm saying is investigate. Don't be stuck. Don't be stuck. Make sure that you understand what you understand by what the scriptures say, rightly divided in God's progressive revelation. If you say, rightly divided, that's a bunch of junk. Well, then you're not going to get it right. Oh, God's progressive revelation. No, it's the same for everyone. Every verse and every line is mine, as the song says. And if you think that, then you're going to get it wrong as well. Investigate. Put it under trial, your beliefs, to make sure that you understand what God's Word is teaching. When you come across something that is contrary to what you already believe, make sure you understand what you believe to be true according to God's perfect, progressive, revealed Word, rightly divided. Thanks for your time.